Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel and truly welcome back. It's great to be back. It's great to be here for the Fantasy Foot promo, which what I want to discuss today about this promo is, is it just another filler promo with just cool new cards coming into this game for right now in the here and now with this promo being released? I think it might be. We'll talk about that today, but of course, there are some nice touches about this new promo. We'll talk about SBCs, objectives, the cards and packs, the upgrade schedule, and what to expect heading throughout Fantasy Foot. Now, also, with the promo being a little bit lackluster yesterday, right? Let's be kind of honest. It was a little bit lackluster on some fronts. We've seen some of the market actually continue to rise, specifically on these Champions League cards and just cards in general that were low in the past couple of days as people anticipated fantasy foot they've actually started to go up we'll talk about why that's happening of course the weekend league extension may have something to do with that and also is there a surprise for us today on saturday with content because last week on saturday we had a surprise icon sbc right those don't usually drop on saturdays right obviously it's like sunday monday type thing we got one last week on a saturday let's see if that happens again today we'll talk about that and everything else going on in fifa right now if you're excited for the video hit that thumbs up and if you have not hit that subscribe button let's start from the top fantasy foot i want to do a quick rundown right i want to take a look at these promo cards because really nothing here is surprising to us again it's just the thing that we are really not liking about this promo i feel like most people are not excited about myself included is the upgrades just take so long to actually appear in game because all of these upgrades as we have stated as we saw leaked it's official now nothing happens until march 17th well actually nothing happens until like a week after that as well it's going to be till the end of march before we get any upgrades on either these hero cards or the actual promo cards in this game because it's all based around domestic league games happening after March 17th and that is again detailed in these frequently asked questions on EA, EA's website there's some kind of details in here like you know one of the upgrades that has to be two goals or, or assist for an attack or a midfielder, midfielder for a defender or a goalkeeper has to be a clean sheet to get a plus one but if a player is subbed on and they don't play 60 minutes right to get that clean sheet you have to play 60 minutes right so if you play 60 get subbed off and then your team concedes a goal you still get the upgrade right there's a lot of little caveats so I would really encourage you guys to check out this page um, on EA's website. Also, I think a really, really handy tool. I haven't seen one on Footbin yet. I'm sure they're going to have one soon. But Foot.gg, I'll leave this link down below in the description. Foot.gg has a tracker li uh, listed up on their website for all of these fantasy foot cards in a really nice and clean format with the price on the cards as well. This is a W. So this is really cool because it's kind of hard to figure out with all these teams, all these players, who's getting the upgrades, who is not, right? We're going to have SBC players, probably more objectives. We have whole team two that's going to be coming on next week this is going to be a really nice and handy place to keep track of all of the stuff going on with the upgrades on these cars now again the games don't happen until the 17th right 17th of march so for right now it's just okay how are these teams playing we're going to watch the cards and their prices throughout the rest of this week maybe for some investment potential because they are live and they upgrade and i feel like that is what is carrying this promo at the moment that and the fact that we have new and upgraded heroes in this game that's what i want to talk about let's look at the cards first right i'm sure you guys have looked over these and you've seen these but just to run through the fantasy foot team that we have feels like we have a lot of cards that are really expensive and then just a couple of cards in the middle and then like a bunch of cheap cards right you got a bunch of cards under a hundred thousand coins you have a couple in the middle and they got some really expensive ones like saliba yorente alexis sanchez and then all of the hero cards right there were some nice upgrades in here there were also some like l upgrades and again you look at this team i'm not complaining again i'm not complaining right now i'm just showing you guys the difference between this year's team one of foot fantasy and last year's team won. Names like Rashford, St. Max, Kamavinga, Stones, Gelson Martins, Klosterman, um, Lucas Mora, right? Now, we've set, we've had promo cards for some of these guys recently. You know, we have the Stones, SBC, Lucas Mora's in Road to the Final, stuff like that. But, you know, these are more type, more hype players, if you will, from last year's team. But also, it was a different time last year, right? There's a lot of theory going around for fantasy. Last year, it was right before team of the season. It was like team of the season before team of the season started this year the cards aren't as great as last year the player names maybe aren't as big but again we're still a little bit earlier on in the power curve than where we were last year when this promo was released so i think that's factored into it but that is the negative part right the positive part is 
there are some really nice cars that EA have dropped here, very usable, and for the most part, pretty cheap as well, right? Skriniar comes in as a nice center back, again, with the potential to upgrade too. That's where the hype is with a lot of these cards, just like Road to the Finals. I do think some of these cards are just very overpriced, and I think this is the number one example of that right now in this game. Saliba, it is a nice card, don't get me wrong, but I mean, 1.4 mil, I understand you expect a lot of upgrades on this card because Arsenal are performing very well atop the Premier League. It makes sense to, for him to be expensive, right? But that expensive, I don't know about that. You know, that's the sort of thing. Urente 1.4, that's a bit steep for me. Sanchez 744, a bit steep. I do believe that these cards, as they most often do, new promo cards drop off on Saturdays. Probably going to happen again with this uh, set of cards today. At least most of them, if not all, will do that. One card I want to point out is this Fernando, not Deli Ali. I wish Deli Ali was still at Spurs for the better links, but you know, RIP to seems to be that man's career, unfortunately. Really loved him at Spurs. But this card's kind of interesting to me. 81 pace, 89 defense, 88 physical. This one might be flying under the radar a little bit. He is lengthy with a four-star weak foot that can play center back. That's the hype, right? His pace split's not that insane, but he can be lengthy and he has lean body type. So Kind of interested in this card, uh, especially if he can go out and get himself some upgrades. Imagine this guy's like a nine. I mean, let's say he doesn't get the full plus four, right? Because a plus four is the max upgrade you can get. Imagine him as like a 90 rated center back with like 83 pace, 84 pace, you know, up above 90 defense and above 90 physical at center back. That's pretty hype for 65K Brazilian links. That's a solid card. So keep your eye on a card like that. That's where there could be some hidden gems inside of these foot fantasy promo teams in the next two weeks that we get. Uh, but again, the promo cards in packs. Now, I haven't seen their pack weight. I want to look in the store really quick right now to take a peek at that. But it doesn't seem to be like crazy good. I think a lot of people are really excited for this promo. And I think there's a reason to be excited. I, I'm just trying to not blow it out of proportion, right? 4.4% for a fantasy foot player out of the new 50K pack, which is uh, not that great. It's okay. Um, and then, of course, a very, very tough chance to pack the heroes as well. Also, there's only, what, 12 cards in packs right now of the fantasy foot players. There's not that many of them. So maybe once we get a mini release, that percentage will go up a little bit. Shout out to EA for making the uh, quality search filter very easy to find here. But we'll take a look at Isak. Some of these more expensive cards are pretty rare. Um, you know, from a first day perspective, you look at how many pages of them on the, are on the market, especially for the hero cards. They are pretty rare in this game. And I want to talk about the heroes a bit more right now because some of them have been extinct. And I think this is where the most hype is for these cards on this game right now. Peter Crouch was extinct until up about two hours ago. He was 500,000 coins, got a price range update, and he is now down to uh, the low 400s, like 416,000 coins. Ginola is 12 million coins. Now, this is one thing that I'm always very, very careful with on a day one where we have brand new cards released in the game. When we have extinct cards with price range updates, a lot of the times they do end up going above what their price range was. If they're a really, really expensive card like Ginola, he was 5 million coins. Now look at him. He's 12.9, right? But I do believe that these cards do have more potential to drop today on Saturday and into Sunday tomorrow with that kind of price range update. Whenever there's an extinct cards, people try to snipe it. They try to sell it for when the price range updates. And if you did that, you got your wish because these guys got updated, right? If you were able to snipe a Ginola, if you were able to snipe um, even even a, a Kewel or I think a Betty Pele was at one point uh, extinct as well. How much is Ginola right now? 13, yeah, 13 million coins. This is probably going to fluctuate a good amount today. Uh, but the fact that he is live and upgrading as all of these hero fantasy cards are, that's really hype. So I do believe that a lot of these cards will come down in price. Peter Crouch is one that's interesting to me because is this card worth 400,000 coins? I don't think so. I mean, I know it's got five star skills and I really want to try this card out myself, but is this worth this much right now? Probably not. The only fact that it may be is because he is English and he's based on the form of Liverpool. And of course, Liverpool have a pretty big game coming up tomorrow, which we also have the Harvey Elliott and the Wild Veghorst showdown uh, for. But of course, the upgrades don't take place yet. So that's the kind of issue that we have with these cards. Again, right? We run into the same issue. If only these cards could get upgraded like from the games happening this weekend. So the cards and packs are foot fantasy. Not bad. The upgrades, not bad. Just it doesn't hit insane, right? It just kind of feels like another promo, except that these are live cards. 
that don't get upgraded for like a couple weeks from now. And that's why I feel like it just kind of is another promo and the market's kind of reacting accordingly. We'll look at some more market stuff here in a minute. Just to quickly run through SBC to Pi, this one, I think the reason why people like this Depay so much is because he has so many stats that are almost 90. And you think about this Depay getting two, maybe three upgrades, maybe even four, right? Going all the way. You think about 90 pace, 90 shooting, 90 passing. Like, wow, that's a pretty sick card with five-star skills. And I completely understand. He's got the left wing alternate position along with center forward and striker. This is going to be a pretty nice card. A little bit low on the composure uh, for this time of the year. But good traits as well. This is a definite fun card. It's a bit of a steep price tag. You do have 13 days to do it. So you have plenty of time to decide if you want to do this to pie. Um, it kind of depends on maybe how Atletico Madrid are playing in the next couple of uh, weeks as well as we head towards the 17th with that SBC being available. That's maybe when you make the decision then. But it seems like a lot of people like that card because the five star skills, um, it's a FIFA type player. And it's not a horrendous price. It's craftable, right? Now, in objectives, we have this Amine Guri. This one, I think, is a dub. It's not that hard to get done. If only they would have given him a four-star weak foot. I wish they would have done a little bit more weak foot skill move upgrades in this promo. They didn't do, like, a ton. They did a little bit. And then also, you have a lone Ginola, which they make you work for. You have to play a decent amount of games to get this, but it's there. There's also a free lone Peter Crouch in the moments uh, token section as well. So if you want to go in there and get your, I think it's like a three or five game loan, Peter Crouch. You can go and get that in there as well. Now, just really quickly before we move on, this promo, right? Foot Fantasy. I kind of have an idea with this promo. And I tell me if you think I'm, I'm wrong or crazy or something here. But I feel like this promo isn't boosting the power curve at all. But I think what's going to happen is, just like we saw last year with the Foot Fantasy cards, all of a sudden these were absolutely insane. And people love this promo when the upgrades started to roll out. I really feel like that's going to be the same case this year with the Foot Fantasy promo, but in the next two to three weeks on this game, with Road to the Final upgrades that are going to be coming in, right, as more, you know, European competition games are played and more upgrades are locked and loaded, with these cards getting upgraded, with these cards getting upgraded, and Foot Birthday is in the next two to three weeks on this game, I feel like we're going to see a massive power curve bump in terms of the FIFA cards getting released on this game, right? I really think that's what's going to happen. And that's going to kind of take us from where we have been post team of the year, right? Team of the year cards are, you know, number one, by far top tier. Nothing really comes close to these guys still right now, apart from maybe some of the new heroes that were just dropped for foot fantasy. But in the next two to three weeks, I feel like we're going to have cards that start overtaking. You know, a lot of us are maybe still using uh, like World Cup heroes in our team, or maybe even some people using like Golden Bappe, or maybe you just got the player of the month, or maybe you've got some recent promo cards, your team from like future stars or whatever. I just feel like in the next couple of weeks with the promos that we have, the upgrades that we have, I think we're going to be taking the kind of power curve in this game to a whole new level with the upgrades and with the upcoming promos that we have. So that's going to also mean things for the market. But for right now, the market's still holding pretty strong. It is down technically. We talked about that in yesterday's video a little bit on the companion app video. If you caught that one, of course, the market is down, right? And Bappe was at 860,000 coins last week. With the promo, all the SBC coin drain, and then a lot of panic selling for Fantasy Foot. There was a lot of panic earlier in the week, right? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of last week. The market was really starting to drop because people were like, oh my goodness, Fantasy Heroes, that's insane. Now, the content hasn't lived up to the hype, so Mbappe was 717k. Well, you know, over the past two days, he has now gone from low 700s at the peak of the panic all the way back up to the high 700s, not all the way back to 850 where he was. But, you know, still a nice rebound. And that's why I would say the market is rising, right? From where we were in the middle of the week, that's what I want to kind of, you know, extend into talking about right now is the market has bounced back and is rising a little bit. And road to the finals are right in the middle of it, right? And I'm keeping a close eye on a lot of these cards because... I'm very interested in Road to the Finals. I'm also pretty interested in this Peter Crouch right now because he got his price range update, so I'm kind of keeping an eye on him. If I could snag like a 410, I might try to flip that card into uh, tomorrow or something like that. But, you know, I'm interested in some of these Road to the Final cards because uh, a lot of these guys, they went down from where they were. I sold a Tall's at 300,000 coins on, I think it was like Tuesday of last week while I was checking the companion app really fast. So I sold a couple of those. I sold Raspidori's at like 320,000 coins. He's back down at like 280. 
a lot of these cards have gone down in price, but they're starting to come back up with, you know, not just a crazy amount of hype with the current promo. And of course, people thinking about, okay, Champions League games, upgrades are on the line this week with the second leg of the Champions League matches. For guys like Calvin Phillips, uh, excuse me, that game is not coming on this week. But, you know, uh, the Alaba, another potential upgrade for Alaba, who we were just looking at, right? Alaba could be going to a 91 rated card by the end of this next week for advancing to the next round, right? They're already seemingly locked in. He already got a plus one for the win. He could get another plus one for advancing to the next round. Same thing with like Goretzka, Nuno Mendes, Malin, and Fofana with the Chelsea and the Dortmund game that is upcoming, right? There are plenty of fixtures this week between Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League um, that has got some of these these guys kind of going up in price and a lot of people starting to speculate, right? And that's where you're going to see this part of the market start to go up the most in the coming days is people starting to speculate and hope, right? Can Spurs mount a comeback one goal down against Milan coming up in the next couple of days with Champions League, right? Can some of those comebacks happen or will some of the favorites continue on and go ahead and get some more upgrades? And of course, the guys who end up losing, cards are no longer live, price are going to drop. So that's kind of a specific part of the market that's going up just because the potential upgrades. But for the rest of the market, one thing that we wanted to look at and we talked about in yesterday's video was cards that were going out of packs from that uh, rivalry re-release or whatever it was, right? Like uh, not Cancelo, but this is just kind of a general show of how the market's gone up, right? Of course, Tuesday, Cancelo was 490 highs, right? We started to get the, the leaks, started to get the panic. He went all the way down to like 440, 450. He was 440 on Thursday, right? Thursday was the low point. We talked about that yesterday. And now he's back up, boom, 480,000 coins for this card. But some of the guys like the Kane, or I think it was Trent Alexander-Arnold was one of them that I was um, kind of interested in. I, I missed the buy time, but Trent was down 255, man, 255. And he was two, what was it? 220, 220,000 coins on Thursday, Wednesday. He was even 230,000 coins then, and now he's up to 250, but these cards going back out of packs. You've seen a nice rise on those. That's just because they're not in packs anymore and the market's kind of rebounding nicely. Look at Benzema. Benzema's up well over 100,000 coins too. My guy was 145 on Thursday and now he is 165, up 200,000 coins. So the market is rising. Yes, it's not as high as it was a couple weeks ago, but I really feel like with the way this promo is going, unless EA drop us a surprise today, I feel like the market is going to stay pretty steady now speaking of surprises last week on saturday we had an icon pack we did and i remember seeing the content drop like notification come through last saturday i was like wait what a saturday icon spc is that going to happen again today let's kind of switch the focus into what's happening today on this game i believe it was the 89 plus that we had last week on saturday i, I don't remember if it was the mid player pick last Sunday or Saturday. I got these two mixed up. I think this one was last Saturday, but the fact that this is still available for another day and heading into tomorrow on Sunday, this is still going to be here. I don't think it's going to be like last week. I don't think there's going to be a big surprise today because it's just not the same type of promo, right? The focus is back on cards in packs, new heroes, new, of course, regular foot fantasy players. I don't believe we are going to get a big time SBC today, but there are two leaks for player SBCs, right? Saturdays are usually a player SBC day, maybe a pack in the store, a couple lightning rounds, maybe a cup, pretty chill day, right? That's what I'm expecting for today. Algebra is one of those leaks as a hero SBC. Could this make the market move? All depends on the price. You know it for SBCs, right? It depends on the stats, depends on the price. These are predicted stats. They definitely would need to boost up a skill move or a weak foot here to make things kind of interesting for Bear. It would be a fun card though, right? Could he make other cards move? Yes, people would obviously look to this Cristiano Ronaldo. People would look to the Alo Ariane, his special cards, right? Because that would be like a card you could very easily link to an Bear. You know, I would only look to invest in this if you're looking for something really, really risky. Because also, if you think about it, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, it's it's one of the only ways you could link an Bear, but two strikers, you know, maybe people would like sell the Ronaldo to use Bear if they have Alawarian already, that sort of thing. That's kind of a tricky situation. Like all of the the best players in the Saudi league are attackers, right? Al O, Ronaldo, Talisca, Inform, even they're all strikers or like right wing, left wing or center attacking mid. So that's kind of interesting information, but, uh, or a situation, but we'll see if this is an SBC today. It could be, it might not be. I don't have the leaks. I just know these are leaked to be coming soon. 
And then the most recent leak is Umtiti uh, as a fantasy foot SBC as well. This one's kind of interesting. Stats are predicted on him as well, but another French center back. And for a club that you don't get too many club links from, but he is a French center back. So that is the latest and greatest of leaked SBCs at the moment. No longer at Barcelona Umtiti. People would probably like the links for that a lot more in terms of a FIFA card in the game. But uh, that is our leaked SBCs at the moment. The only other thing that is really in the news is foot champs. If you have not started your foot champs or if you're delaying your foot champs, you got extra time this weekend because of the server issues. Like twice yesterday, I saw EA FIFA Direct tweet. I wasn't actually on the game myself, but they said twice yesterday the servers went down. So to compensate for that, they have extended weekend league into Monday. So into Monday of this week, next week, you'll be able to be playing your foot champs games, get those rewards if you're super duper interested in that. Now, speaking of SBCs, we usually talk about fodder on the weekends, right? And right now, the only real movement we've had on fodder is that prices have gone down just a little bit, right? Not crazy, but just enough to notice it, right? 84s are about 4.1, 4.2, 4.3,000 coins. You know, you've got 87s at like 22K. I mean, high rated fodder with that 89 plus that is still out. It technically is still inflated. K KDB, all these 91s are still about 70,000 coins. That's down. They were like 80K on Thursday. When we talked about it in last night's video, it was a really good time to sell those. That was honestly the peak, right? These guys are down a little bit because the player pick SBC went away. The icon SBC is, is nearing its end as well. And some of the hype for those bigger SBCs is slowly dwindling too as they you know go away like the bike horse and stuff like that still available but the hype is dying the longer sbc is out right that's the, us the usual cycle most of the hype is right there at the beginning or when it refreshes so you know fodder man if i was going to invest in any fodder right now because this is usually around the time where we invest the only side of the market that looks investable for me would be 83s 84s and 85s just being brutally honest because at the moment, everything else looks to be just a little bit inflated. Um, maybe there's some sort of like campaign pick. I believe last year in Foot Fantasy, we had some sort of campaign player pick. That, will, that again will be a conversation for later on in the week. But you know, if you think that sort of thing's gonna happen, 83s, 84s, 85s would be perfect for an SBC like that. Again, not a guarantee, possibility, but not a guarantee. I do believe we'll get some sort of icon pack it feels like we're maybe due for a new one. We've had the 89 plus World Cup or Prime a couple times now. It might be time for us to graduate and take the next step up. It might be time for a Prime Icon only pack, EA. Prime Icon only. Um, you don't even have to say 89 plus because all of the Prime Icons are 89 plus. We already figured that out with this pack. So, you know, maybe include a team of the year icons as well if you want to. That'd be great. But we need to graduate to another level of Icon Gamble packs here in the next couple of days. So definitely keep a close eye out for the content today. I think it's going to be a bit of a quieter day, but it should be a good day to trade, a good day to watch the market. I really do believe that some of these foot fantasy and foot fantasy hero cards, the, these heroes, guys, I'm telling you, they're really, really rare. And I'm really interested in this Peter Crouch because he got his price range updated. Oh man, he's already going, man. He was 415K. My guy is now rising. He's 422. So if I can snag a sniper or something here, on a quick bid or something, then I might be in the money, but this guy is looking like he's about to bounce back, but these prices are probably gonna move very volatile here in the next probably 24 hours because people wanna try these cards today to play Weekend League, but also at the same time, people that tried to snipe and invest uh, are gonna wanna be selling as well uh, because they're wanting to get their coins out, and if they sniped it when it was extinct and now it's not selling, you know, that's where these prices fluctuate a ton on the weekends, like we said at the beginning of the video, is when you see people that have sniped the card that are trying to list it up and get their money because they thought they were gonna make profit, but then when you realize this is nowhere near a 500K card, Although it is rare, who knows, and it is live and upgrading. Live People have paid crazy money for live cards. So that's one thing I've learned is never underestimate live cards because people will always want to pay for them in the end just because they are live and they have the potential to upgrade. So we're going to try to make some coins today, but enjoy your weekends, have fun, and let me know down in the comments what you think about this promo. If you like it, if you don't like it, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. It's been Native Foot Accountant. Peace out.